Can we sit on the comfy seat? Test, test. Do we have sound? I think we've got sound. I don't know. I have no way of telling, actually. But you do. All right, I'm starting the mailbag recording a little early because uh, before we start mailbag, DJ wants me to give medicine to all the cats. We, uh, she just got back from the vet picking up some uh, antibiotics for the sneezes that they've been having, mostly for Holly's sake, but we're going to treat everybody since they've all got it to some degree. I expect the kittens aren't going to be too hard to get to take this. It's not great. I mean, it tastes like cherries, and cats aren't well known to enjoy cherries. But uh, the one that's really going to be trouble is their mom. She is so resistant to medication that um, I basically, um, I've got her on steroids every day right now for her pillow paws. And um, uh, I, I can't give it to her directly. I have to put it in churu and, and let her eat it. And it even took a little while to convince her that that was safe. So she's very skeptical about these things. All right, let's go in some order so I can remember who's who. We'll do the two creamsicles first. I know, it doesn't taste great, but it's not bad either, right? There's much worse stuff. I know. At least kittens are easy. All right, Friday, your turn. Don't go away. Oh, yeah, I know, you're second worst, right after little Holly. There you go, buddy. All right, now I guess we'll do the tailless twins. And then we can finish up with Greg and uh, um, uh, Greg and Holly. Yeah. Okay, so that's you first. Sorry about this. I know we're best friends. It's not going to last after this, is it? Huh. You, none of you seem to mind this one too much. That's good. Maybe mom won't even mind it that much. No, it's more, it's more like bubble gum than uh, cherry, actually. With a, a strong aftertaste of bitters. Okay, now we're down to Greg and Holly. They get this once a day. Uh, so let's see, who of Greg and Holly can we find first? Greg's right here, easy peasy. Hi, buddy. I'm skeptical whether the antibiotics will really help, but DJ um, think, seems to think that Holly has shown some signs of maybe having a secondary bacterial infection which um, I don't see, but I'm not a doctor. So if she's right, it definitely will help. Either way, I think there's a chance that, um, I think there's a chance that it could uh, help just by, um, you know, if there is anything else, it's could clear it out of the way so there's bodies can focus a little more on solving the, the real problem, which is probably viral. Um, but, uh, well, you know, what are you going to do? Okay, you ready? I'll put you right back where I found you. Okay, sleepyhead, it's good for you to sleep. That's good. There you go. Okay. All right. Well, you guys were so easy. It makes me want to try mom, especially since she's got that suit on. She may be a little easier to medicate. I'm going to have to hold this uh, in my mouth for a second so I don't have, I don't have to set it down while it's dirty. Hang on. And then I'll rinse it off and put this all in the fridge. And then we can start mailbag. Mom gets a bigger syringe. because She's got to do a double dose. At least double what the kittens get. Okay. Hi, sweetheart. I know you hate me giving you meds. I know, I know, I know. Come here. I know, I know. She's really, really difficult about giving meds. But maybe the suit will slow her down just enough, and this one's not so bad. 
Oh, I know. I don't want to have to put this in Churu for you, kiddo. Oh, I might have to, though. One more try, and then we go to Churu. Come on, there's so much, and it's going to taste really bad, and you probably won't eat the Churu either. Oh, here, let me block your hands. <laughs> you are not easy. Oh, my goodness. Sweetheart. It's not that bad, I promise. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we won't be able to do it like that. We at least got to assume the right position. Okay, okay, come on. Come on. Come on, sweet. Oh, okay, all right, okay, all right. That's enough trying. It's probably tastes too bitter for her to eat it in churu, but we're going to try anyway. <sighs> Hope springs eternal. She is really difficult. Tuna with salmon. All right. Well, let's try it out. I don't think her other medicine tastes quite as strong. So... It's going to be a real... I don't know how much of the background sound this microphone picks up. Can you guys hear when I'm like running the sink and stuff? I have no idea. Okay, let's put this in the fridge. Mom's either going to eat this or not. Let's find out which it is. <clears throat> Cal, I'm sorry. Can I apologize? I brought you a treat to say I'm sorry. Look, look what I brought you. This is, this is my apology treat. Come here. Come on out here where I can see you and make sure the kids don't eat it, okay? It's an apology treat just for you. I'm so sorry. No, no, it's just for her. Okay, come here. You're going to get swarmed. I thought that might happen. Let's put you out here on the counter like we usually do for your morning mat. Here you go. Try this. Well, it works. I guess she's going to get double churu in the morning. She's fine with it. I wonder if cats even taste bitter. The kids didn't seem to mind that at all. She's going to clean that bowl off. Almost. You going to finish that last bit? Yeah, she was just taking a second to look around. Back to licking. Very good. Here, lick that last part where the mic is here. Cleaning the plate. Good. Good job. All right. Well, that works then. At least we know how to get it done. I thought that would be too much for her to actually go for. All right. Mailbag time. Uh, the big news today, of course, uh, besides the fact that these kids all have uh, a little bit of sneezies still since the day they were born. Um, and uh, uh, that um, we are medicating them with uh, antibiotics now. Um, the other news is that we have a new mom cat coming today. Oh, and that Till got adopted yesterday. So Till got picked up by her adopter yesterday and already looks like she's having a good time in her new place. And uh, then, um, yeah, new mom cat today. Uh, uh, that's very exciting. I've already got the annex as clean as I need it to be. Uh, I didn't have to do a full cleaning this time because I did one um, earlier, and then the only people who've been in there since the full cleaning have been some faculty here and there, and uh, nothing that really needs to be um, re-cleaned all the way down. But I did, nonetheless, uh, uh, hang on here, I did um, Vercon, so I did the antiviral in there, 
and uh, you know vacuumed and washed the floor a bit, but uh, not the full cleaning. And then uh, all I have to do is fill up her litter box, put down some food and water, bring her a couple toys, and she's good to start. Uh, I'll have to get her a birthing box. And I'm told that she's still a long way from having her babies, so um, she hopefully will get along with everybody and will be able to come out and visit after a while. Uh, but I don't want these kids to get her sick either if we can avoid it. Now, these things, um, viral stuff especially, spread so easily that uh, I think probably despite any effort we might take, we should just expect uh, everybody will get it. <laughs> but but we're, that doesn't stop us from trying. Okay. Okie dokie. Let me check and make sure everybody's been hearing me and I'm not just talking to myself this whole time. Looking good. Oh, I saw somebody asking if everybody at KA should get the antibiotics. No, um, uh, none, nobody, none of the faculty has shown, or the older kittens have shown any sign of whatever this infection is. Um, my guess is it's just feline herpes, which is extremely common, and the faculty and the other kittens probably already have it, uh, and they just don't exhibit it. Just like human herpes, it doesn't always have an outbreak. It usually only happens to young children that are especially vulnerable, to old people who are especially vulnerable, and to people that are going through stress, like say a mom cat uh, that has, you know, just had a bunch of babies and nursing and her system needs time to recover. So it would make sense that they would be the only ones that would show any symptoms and that, again, the antibiotics aren't going to cure it. Um, all they are doing is hopefully making sure that there's no secondary infection or if there is one, then it's cleared up and, and it's only the, uh, what we presume is herpes to deal with. So, uh, yeah, and no matter what it is, whether it's a herpes virus or some other virus, it's the same story. Um, you know, there's, there's really not much we can do to treat it directly. I know in the distant past, we've tried antiviral drugs on kittens, and it's hard to say whether they had any effectiveness or not, because, you know, a lot of times with these things, you give them the drugs, they get better, and then you don't really know, was it the drugs or would they have gotten better anyway? Um, and the latest studies that I've seen on the antiviral that we have used, which is famcyclovir, say that it's not effective and when it's actually tested, it, it doesn't really have a discernible effect. So that's why we haven't decided to try that for the kittens or, or tried to ask for it or anything is because it, it doesn't work. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it wouldn't stop me if I heard about one that was effective from trying to get it and, and try it out on them. But... Uh, uh, at this point, I, don't, I think they're going to be fine. We've seen much worse infections, even than what Holly's got going on. We've seen much, much worse. So I feel like she's just going to, she'll kick it in due time, you know? So, uh, yeah, oh, that's it. That's it for news. So uh, the news is uh, we're working on these kittens. Uh, Till went home yesterday. Very happy in her new home, by the way. She's got uh, three human siblings and... I just know she's going to love all the attention that she gets from all these people. That's, that's all she wants in life is to be uh, with people and played with and snuggled. And uh, I'm sure that, that uh, the two girls that, that she's with are going to love having her around. Oh, and she's been renamed, by the way, to Popcorn, which DJ and I both think is a brilliant name for her. Uh, so Popcorn instead of Till, it's great. Um, yeah, and then the new mom cat is coming tonight. Uh, in the, the transport has a very long trip, so it's hard to guarantee that they will get here. <laughs> I can hear in there that uh, Sprout is on the counter now trying to clean out any of the churu that might be left over, but that bowl was empty when I left, so I'm not worried about like getting extra meds or something. Um, what was I saying? I was saying, oh, uh, the transport has to come a very long way. I don't know where it's coming from, uh, but I'm sure it's, uh, you know, Georgia or West Virginia is where they always seem to come from. And uh, it makes some stops along the way. I don't think it left one of those places today. I think it probably left there yesterday and then is overnighting somewhere and then gets back on the road. And they will... Um, they'll, sh in theory, show up here around 7, 7.30... And um, if they're late, they're late. If they're early, I try my best. And um, if everything goes to schedule, the new mom cat should be here around 8 o'clock, maybe a little early, maybe a little later. 
unfortunately, it's not super predictable until the transport's actually here, um, you know, how long it'll take. So, uh, but it is this evening, sometime is when we expect our new mom cat to come. And if you haven't seen her picture, uh, all I can say to describe her really, she's gray and white. She looks a lot like a short hair version of Maggie. And I think that comparison may hold in more ways than one since the only picture that we've seen of her, which is all we know, is the, the picture. That's, that's the entire amount of information we were given, aside from the fact that she has been tested somehow and is known to be pregnant. Um, and uh, we also know that they didn't give her the rabies vaccine because she's pregnant, which is a good choice that uh, most of the mom cats we've had here got the rabies vaccine anyway. So she may be coming from a different shelter or she may have seen a different doctor than the ones that we normally do. Um, the, that's, that's all the facts that we have, uh, that and uh, the fact that she uh, looks like, uh, you know, we've got her picture, a uh, short-haired version of Maggie, and uh, the picture also has uh, what looks like a hay barn that she's standing in. You can barely see the floor. It's like a dirt floor. There's hay. Um, so I'm guessing she's a barn cat like Maggie was, too. It looks like a, like a horse barn would look if you saw like a square foot of the floor and had to guess where you were. It's like a, like a bizarre version of the GeoGuessr game. <clears throat> so uh, there you go. That's everything we know, and that's all the news, and we're going to start opening letters and stuff here. So let's get to it. I'm going to have a sip of this coffee and double check on the chat, make sure everything's going well. I hope you like the sound of me drinking coffee. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, I did see someone ask about importing mom cats, which is a good question that I think deserves an answer. Um, you know, like, why do we bring mom cats from so far away? And uh, the real fundamental reason is that Dawes doesn't have any other mom cats, and the shelters all communicate, and when they need, you know, help, um, they get it. And uh, I feel like uh, it's probably true for most of the shelters that are anywhere near us that they don't have very many mom cats that are pregnant that need help. Uh, if they have a few, they probably already have the, the fosters and help that they need. Whereas shelters that are further down south are almost always just out of control, uh, not just with mom cats, but with everything because the breeding season there, there's so much longer and, uh, you know, there's so much um, uh, better environment for these, uh, frankly, animals to, you know, uh, be outdoors and thriving. So the shelters there have to do a lot more work than they have to do here, which is, I imagine, one of the big reasons that that transport that the mom cat's coming on runs every weekend. Uh, not just when they're bringing us a mom cat, it comes in loaded with mostly dogs, uh, but also a fair number of cats that are all being shipped up from the southern shelters to northern shelters, not just to Dawes, uh, but usually to, they, they make a long, they make a number of stops along the way, uh, all kinds of, you know, dropping them off here and there. There's a big network of shelters that all talk to each other, and if there were mom cats that were local that needed help, I'm sure that Dawes would get us one of those first, but... Uh, you know, the, it's it's virtually like they're here anyway, because like I said, the, with the communication and with the fact that the, the transport runs every weekend, um, it's, it's sort of an uh, artificial distinction, you know, being local or not when they're that still just as accessible. So, um, yeah, I, I think it was a really good question, though, because that's that's an important thing that people often, I think, would wonder, like, why do you import a pregnant mom cat? Um, well, there you go. That's why. All right. Uh, and because, you know, mom cats that are pregnant take a little bit uh, extra care, uh, you know, more than the regular fostering situation would be. And that's just what we've always done. So I think we're, um, you know, I'm not going to say that, that I could never say that we're experts at anything, but I think we, we have a lot more experience in it than uh, your average bear. So uh, that's why we tend to focus on that. All right. This is addressed to Professor Teaspoon, and there's a cute sticker on the front that says, you are one fine apple, with pictures of fine apples on it. 
And on the back, there's a little teaspoon cat, and it's a cupcake that says birthday. It says, by doing what you love, you inspire and awaken the hearts of others. That's a sweet sentiment. Now, let's see if I can open this without causing too much damage. I'm actually going to use a knife instead of a letter opener, because I think that's the right way to go. Perfect. Oh, wow, this is cool. This is a rainbow unicorn with those little, um, uh, what do you call them, the little gemstones that, that people use to make pictures out of. Uh, I can't think of the name. And it's really cool, though, a very happy, sparkly unicorn. Oh, and I see a do nice donation there. I'm going to put that right into the box. I'm sure that is for the Teaspoon Fund. Teaspoon Ball Track Slash Healthcare Fund. That's cute. Thank you very much. Happy birthday, Teaspoon. And a big congrats on your faculty appointment at the very prestigious Kitten Academy. We are all so excited to be able to watch you continue to grow up into the beautiful cat you are and teach many future classes. Lots of love and many spoogles from K.A. Bless, uh, K.A. Bless 17, Mayhem and Bamboozle and Daisy. So thank you very much. That is a really cute card. Oh, it says on the back, uh, Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. Well... All right, I guess diamond art, then, is what you can call that. It is very sparkly and cute. All right, we also have a note. It says, Dear Mr. A and DJ, guess what? I get to be an official intern at the Loomerson Plumbing Company. I sent in my application, and the CEO, Argyle, responded directly to me on Discord and said I was hired. Well, he's is also an intern, which is cool because he's an awesome dude. I spent a lot of time in the bathroom here at my home ensuring the faucets are working properly and the human stays safe while she takes showers or baths. Mayhem can be my assistant, but I am the one in charge uh, of all the plumbing operations here. Her specialty is biscuit making and P16 maintenance. We're a good team. Anyway, I misses you lots, but I am so happy I get to watch KA every day and share lots of pictures of myself to the alumni spam on Discord. Lots and lots of love. Bamboozle. Uh... And then we have another note that says, Dear Mr. A and DJ, guess what? Me and Bam had to go to the vet for something called a checkup. We were a little scared, but our big sister, Daisy, uh, oh no, Daisy, I know it's Daisy, but I thought, okay, well, that's fine. Daisy told us that the doctor we got to see is super nice. She's been seeing her for more than 15 years. That's a lot of years, so we felt less scared. It wasn't so bad, except for the part where they took our temperature. Do you know how they do that? We also had to get two shots each, but at least we won't get something called rabies or have a distemper, which is silly. We have the best tempers. But then the nice vet tech gave us churu, so we decided it was all okay. We got more churu when we got home and extra spoogles from our mom. She said we were so good. I misses you lots. You were both awesome. Lots and lots of love. Mayhem. That's very sweet. I love getting notes from the alumni. That's just adorable. I'm sure DJ will like to see those too. Uh, thank you very much for all of that, and uh, and for, like I said, the very generous uh, donation for Teaspoons Fund. Uh, I'm excited for that to be coming up. Uh, that reminds me, on Monday, uh, we've got Ari going into the vet for his dental appointment, um, and then that afternoon, Custard will be going in to get his Silencia. So um, Monday's going to be a very busy day, and uh, then we've got Teaspoon coming up on at the end of the month. I think the 27th is when he gets his checkup, where we finally find out um, whether he's ready to have his Teaspoon surgery now or if we have to put it off even further. I think he's as big as he's going to get, though, so I, I think now is probably going to be the time. All right, this says thanks, and there's cutouts that show the whole planet. Well, mostly Europe, if uh, I'm honest. Uh, and it says the world is a better place because you are in it. Thank you for sharing your love of kittens with all of us and for making the world a better place for cats as well as for your followers. Mm, Hobbit and Toby and Sophie. Aw, that's just, that's just a sweet note. I, that's, that's really wonderful. Thank you for that, M. Hobbit. It's good to hear from you again. Um, there you go. You can see the card. I might be a little extra sneezy today. I was talking yesterday about whether we would have to cancel mailbag because I'm having some extra sinus issues. Uh, I'm just apologizing in advance because I can feel the itching starting there. Uh, it's really not that bad, though. I was mostly worried about whether it would get any worse, in which case, you know, but as it is, it's, it's not bad. Okay, here we go. This says, 
This note has been approved to read on stream. I like that. Very official sounding. Good morning, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and all Kitten Academicians. Academ I still don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that word. Um, just a short note today to say hello and a belated present in honor of our little golden boy's birthday. I saw the t-shirt and couldn't resist adding my own customization, and I think you'll approve. I'm looking forward to seeing all of you at KA Con in a few months and hope that I draw one of the lucky golden tickets. Oh, yes, uh, this year they're doing a thing where... Uh, excuse me. Um, uh, we always have the uh, event planners come to Kitten Academy afterwards. Oh, it's <laughs> teaspoon. I love it. I love the tick. The the old uh, tick uh, cartoons were and uh, comics were a big. Um, my, my one of my best friend in high school introduced me to it when it was just a comic book and uh, and ridiculous. And uh, he in, he introduced me to a lot of that kind of stuff. So I have a. a I'm a, like I'm a hipster for when it comes to uh, the tick, and uh, this is this is glorious. I just love it. Um, the golden tickets I was saying though is uh, every year we have a little bit of a party here after KA Con, and I would love to bring everybody here. You know, just hold KA Con like at our house if we could, but there's just a few too many people um, for that to be a practical thing to do. Um, I, I just it would be fun. So. Uh, so we bring the, the volunteers that have helped plan KACON, the planning committee, come uh, here for a little treat for them, you know, to say thank you. And this year they said, why don't we have a couple of raffle prizes that are to come to that? Uh, so that's what the golden tickets are. It's very cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, you say, I'm practicing my recorder every day in preparation for our big concert. My neighbors are surely loving it. Thank you for all you do for mom, cats, and kittens. Pet kittens and ramble on from April in Asheville, a.k.a. Ginger Tuffy Cat. Thank you so much. I don't know if I've ever really expressed my love for the tick. I know I've talked a little bit about how I enjoyed the uh, recent uh, Amazon. Uh, uh, Amazon? Was it on Amazon? It was on Amazon, right? Um, tick that they made that uh, was... Very good, and the guy who plays Arthur on that version of it has a podcast that's about movies that's also good. It's uh, Every episode is like three or four hours long, and they just ramble. Like Most of the time, they aren't even talking about what they're supposed to talk about. It's just fun to fill time. Um, and it's fun to have you know a little bit of that like Hollywood insider. Uh, he just, he just, he'll just talk about anything. Um, you know, there's no secrets, I guess, and that's kind of cool. So this is fantastic. I don't know why I never thought of doing a you know spoon uh, teaspoon reference, but you did, and it's perfect. I I am really going to enjoy wearing this uh, on every level. It's it's great. Thank you so much. Okay, um, let's see what's next here. This on the box says it is from Alto Clarinet Lady. And there's some, uh, there's, oh, some little puppy stickers on here, too. Little tiny kittens. It's very cute. There, there's, some, there's some on the sides, too. Look at that. Little tiny ones. Okay. Lots of tissue paper. Oh, a note and a Tupperware container. Uh, this is cute. This is a colored pencil and crayon. Or maybe it's pen and crayon. Um, it's a little kitten that looks just like our new mom cat sitting with flowers and a bee and a butterfly with a smile and on the back uh it, the stamp is a kitten academy stamp that's very cute hello from montreal i'm sending you this drawing i did of maggie okay well that would explain the similarity i did of maggie and some flowers for the february art challenge on discord i'm also sending a few cookies that i made they're almond flavored love Emily, who is Alto Clarinet Lady. Thank you very much. I love this. This is such a cute drawing of Maggie. She looks so happy with her little flowers. That's, uh, that's adorable. Thank you. Hi, buddy. You going to play with that? Let me put this note with the other notes. And you have sent, again, a Tupperware with... Ooh, these look like good cookies. I'm just going to take a sniff here. Oh, they smell kind of like almond cookies. They smell like... Uh, <laughs> they smell like... Um, I was going to make a joke about them smelling like cyanide, uh, which is, you know, almond, uh, always described as smelling like almonds, not that I would know. Um, the shape of these is very much like a poop emoji, though, <laughs> which is cute, too. I like it. That's a, that's a cute way to do it. 
Uh, I'm excited for these. Thank you. And thank you for not sending me like a giant container of them. Um, uh, because I do, I really have uh, messed up on my diet um, lately. I've, uh, because I've been feeling a little under the weather, I haven't worked out in like four days, which is the longest I've gone since I got on this new workout kick. And I would worry about, you know, letting that go too long because you can always fall off of that wagon. Uh, fall, fall onto the wa- Falling off the wagon is... No, I guess falling off the wagon is the bad thing. So I guess that's right. Um, anyway, um, uh, to strain a metaphor, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's um, it's. Uh, I thank you for sending a few of them, so I don't have to eat them all because I will. I always do. Um, the uh, the treat boxes that we get monthly uh, that I think come from the alumni, which we greatly appreciate, and I'm not saying that those should stop. Um, we just got our most recent one, and it is the French. Uh, the, the, it's like a treat box that comes with treats from a different country uh, every month. And this month was France, and um, it had a whole bunch of these Truffies brand little truffles. And I know that they're not, you know, uh, I think they're great. It was my, what I'm going to say is uh, they seem like they probably are not what people would consider a high quality truffle, but the chocolate that's in them is so nice uh and there was a little bag of those plus two extra in this month's box and i've been trying to eat them slowly instead of just pounding them all down at once because i I do love them it's not the first time they've come in those boxes and they're really good uh i was just bringing that up because i'm talking about ruining my diet so uh good job me all right uh thank you alto clarinet lady for all of it that's that's really appreciated okay this is addressed to Kitten Academy Endowments. Ooh, it's something electronic. It is four in one. Oh, I think this is the one that you guys see us using upstairs all the time, and the kittens all love it. Is it? Well, it's actually, it's a slightly different design, but it looks like it might be the same thing. Let's take a look. It is the same idea, but it's got two levels of ball track as opposed to the one that's upstairs, I think, just has one. So it's cute. It's got the tiny balls on top and the bigger balls on the bottom. That's adorable. Uh, Let's see. There's a note. The note says... Julian, ball tower with butterflies and feathers. I talked to his aduder. Oh, that's so sweet. From Lisa for Kittens. And um, the one that's upstairs has been a big hit for them. So this has a butterfly that gets, goes on top and spins around like the butterfly toys. It's got two layers of the ball track. And then on the bottom, it's got that little hunt uh, toy. I don't know what you call it, where it pokes a toy out and then back in out of the various sides. Uh, so those are very cute. It's got little, uh, very colorful feathers to put on the bottom there. Uh, so that's going to be perfect. It says uh, four in one, so I guess each level of the ball track counts as, as one of the four. Fair enough. You know, that's fine. Otherwise, I really just count three toys here, but I don't feel ripped off. The one that we have upstairs is one of their favorite things to play with. Every time I bring it out, it just gets so much attention. Um, but the reason that we have to put it away is it's very noisy. <laughs> this one sounds like it's going to be kind of noisy, too. So that's perfect. That's perfect for little uh, Julian. And I want to... Here, here's what I'm going to do. First off, I'm going to put this in the box. And then I'm just going to write Julian right on the box so that when I'm going through these, I I know very clearly who it is for. So let me do that. Maybe. I hope our pen's in here. It is right there. There we go. Perfect. All right, good. Well, that comes in its own box, so we can put that over here, and we can start using this as maybe a discard pile, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing. Making it up as we go along. All right, uh, let's see. Well, I want to go ahead and do this next. I was going to save it because it's the only other one that we have that's not a drop shipment or, you know, not from uh, Amazon, I guess, directly. But we'll go right ahead since it's most convenient. 
This is in a box of the Solistic Pate that we got sent so much of from Weruva. That's good stuff, and the kittens love it. And uh, it was really nice of them to send us so much. So I immediately recognized this box, but I don't think it's from Weruva. It could be. It's not the first time that they have sent us stuff. Oh, this is cute. It's not. Uh, this is very, very adorable. It says, uh, you still do that, huh? She does this with all the boxes, with the plants. It's just, it's just her way of playing or something. I don't know what she's thinking while she's doing it. Just flapping the flaps. Uh, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, how are you? This is Raindrop. I'm doing well in my new home. Thank you for packing up all my endowments to get them home safe with me. There's so much to play with every day. My favorite toys are the wand toys, especially the worms. I usually sit back and let Quid play with them when he wants to, which is pretty much always. But Mom makes sure I get some solo playtime without him. I love to chase and leap. I also really like the little puffballs. My favorite puffballs are the ones sent in a bag tied with ribbon with my name on it. The person who sent that has good taste in cat toys. And of course, I'm keeping up my duties in shredding cardboard boxes. I'm very methodical. I prefer to finish one box to shreds before doing more than tasting another. Oh man, uh, Raindrop really, it's funny because it's true. It's funny because it's true. Um, Quid is doing great. He's very zoomy. He loves his endowments too, especially the P16. I asked if he wanted to write his own note, but he said he'd rather watch the snowflakes outside. We have plenty here. Quid has gotten a little bigger and a lot floofier. I make sure he keeps up with his floof maintenance every day. We're so happy with our endowments that we wanted to give some gifts of our own. For my sisters, Drizzle and Sprout, some valentines. There are lots of envelopes. Well, I see you opening your valentine and playing with the packing. Oh, that's so cute. It's a little fancy feast, savory cat treats, valentine that's got a rose on top. It's very cleverly packaged. That's that's adorable. Chicken flavor, and you are already trying to dig into exactly that, aren't you? You can probably smell it in there. This is like Ari. If I have uh, even like the most sealed treats in the world, if I leave them in a box that's accessible to him, he'll dig through the box and into the treats. I haven't seen him do that in a long time. I don't know if it's better because we're better at hiding them or keeping them away from him or if he just isn't into it as much. My guess is that it's just us that are better. Uh, where were we? Uh... For a Drizzle and Sprout, some Valentines. There are lots of envelopes. Maybe Drizzle will like one of them. They came from the same store as her last favorite envelope. Sprout can play with them too. Please deploy one or two now and send the rest home for their endowments. I see. So you mean her little toy envelope that she uh, has totally torn to shreds. Let's take a look and see if we can find that. Uh... And just seeing Holly here with her clean face made me wonder where her mom is at. I don't actually know. Okay. Well, okay, we'll keep reading here. Uh, Sprout can play with them too. Please deploy one or two now and send the rest home for their endowments. I'm so happy they'll get to go home soon. They also have extra springs for my springtime sisters. That's adorable. Um, there's also a little Valentine treat box for each of them. Mom says the keyword is little. I'm a big girl at 12 pounds when I went to the vet on January 14th. Apparently, I need to minimize treats and maximize zooming. Mom thinks Drizzle and Sprout might have similar needs. Uh, Sprout, at least. Drizzle uh, stays pretty slender, um, but they are. They're getting, uh, they're getting to the point where it's time to start thinking about how much food they get each day, I think. Uh, we're sending a B for Professor Maggie. Here, let me move this out to the side. A B for Professor Maggie. A special thanks for teaching Quid and me about hissy cats. It is a good lesson to learn. Our big bro, Sablier. Sablier. Okay, it's French. Uh, thank you for the pronunciation guide because I would not have pronounced it like that at all. Um, is pretty scaredy, so he hisses a lot right now, but I think we will be friends eventually. It's good, though, that they can be respectful of it. You know, um, that's, I think, the important thing in a cat interaction. I think cats, some of them know that hissing or respect the fact that hissing means, doesn't mean I hate you, it just means not now. You know, like I'm not, like I don't know you or I'm not ready for that or just keep your distance and we'll be fine. 
And as long as the, uh, the approaching cat respects that and keeps their distance, everything is fine. And that's, that's a great cat interaction. It's the best you can hope for. Um, so, uh, a B for Maggie. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sablier. Um, I think we will be friends eventually. He's getting used to having us around and hissing less every day. Quid and I don't mind the hisses because Professor Magnolia and Miss Till were great teachers. We know he just wants space. Yes. Last but not least... We have also included some bees from Mr. A. They're no good for chasing, but Mom thinks you might like them anyway. Sending you all the love, Raindrop. Oh, there's nothing I like more than uh, notes from alumni. It's cute and it's wonderful. And spending so much time thanking the people who send in the endowments, I think, is also wonderful. I give all the appreciation I can. Um, but it's so much more special, I think, to hear it from the adopters that, that get them. So, all right, uh, let's see. So we do have the little treats for Sprout and Drizzle. Oh, look at that, the envelope mail. And they do look like the same print as the ones that she liked. Uh, ex Express mail, wow, that's, that's a big set of envelopes. Delivery special. I wonder if she will like them. I've tried giving her so many things that I think are similar to the envelope, and so far none of them have taken... Uh, but we still have the original envelope and lobster in a drawer that I, when I bring her out to her, she is thrilled. Again, it's so, it's silly in a way, and it's a little sad in a way. Oh, this is what you meant by the bee that you sent for me. This is perfect. The uh, Cheektowaga, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing, the Cheektowaga bee newspaper. I'm going to enjoy reading these. And we have uh, four separate editions. That's great. Uh, especially the advertisements are fun for us. The plumber heating and cooling. All right. The plumber. That's great. These are really cute. Loose dentures? Missing teeth? See Todd E. Shatkin. All right. Call for a complimentary consultation. Oh, I'm tempted. Uh, this, is, this is adorable. Thank you so much. I'm going to enjoy uh, reading those just like always. And this obviously is for Drizzle, and these are for Drizzle and Sprout. So I'm just going to put all this stuff back in here and label the box as for being for them. Uh, but you did say you need to play some of the envelopes now. So let's see, where is she at right now? She was just here. She's right back there. Let's see if I can give her one now and see what happens. This one looks exactly like her old one, although I think the old one had... Uh, some uh, ribbons on it. There is one here with a ribbon on it, I think. Yeah, the little one. The little ones. Okay. Let's try one of the little ones and one of the medium ones and see. Is that too many at once? Drizzle. She's watching the birds that are out there on the patio. There's two birds. That bird feeder is almost empty. I should fill it up. Oh, she's just focused on the birds. Bad timing. We'll try throwing those in front of her a few other times to see, make sure that she's got the best opportunity. I almost wonder if we could fool her like uh, by attaching, like sewing her old one or putting a couple stitches on the old one and attaching it to a new one. Would that, you think that would work to sort of transfer the magic power that it has? Uh, it'd be an interesting experiment anyway, wouldn't it? Okay, let's label this box as being for them. Perfect. I think they're also uh, being picked up at the end of the month. I, I say also because, you know, uh, Teaspoon's things at the end of the month, not that he's getting adopted there. Um, okay. Thank you very much. That's wonderful. It's cute. The note, it was the best, though. The note is the best part of that. I can't wait for DJ to, to see those. Kitten Academy Endowments, once again. All right. Oh, the very familiar. This is a ball track and... Uh, there we go. Is this a note? No, nope, that's not a note. Oh, that's not a note. This is a note. Monday ball track from Lisa for Kittens. All right, straight to the point. Monday ball track. I'm going to write Monday right on it once again. Thank you, Lisa for Kittens. That's really sweet of you. Um, you do a great job of sending the, the big toys for these kids every time. 
And it is much appreciated, I know. Sprout, you're into everything, aren't you? I should get those treats out so you guys can have some. I see this is two ball towers. Probably also from Lisa for kittens. This is the black floor, four level. Uh, that's a really good one. And I especially like the ones, hang on, let's see if this is spr Sprizzle. Sprizzle, aw, that's cute. The ball tower, all right. Till, oh, Till. Okay, Sprizzle ball tower and Till ball tower. Well, Till's a little late, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, I did say that uh, if anything came in late for her, I would get it to her in due time, which we, we theoretically will. I'm so far behind on those. I was gonna say, the ones that I think are the best, I think, and like I have a real strong opinion on this kind of thing. Um, I, I like the ones though that have these cutouts on the top of the ball track, so there's even more ways for the kittens to see the balls rolling around in there. So this is, this is really cool that way. So this is a four level ball tower. And there's one for Till, and there's one for Sprout and Drizzle to share. I know that you will love that, won't you? So, Sprizzle. Perfect. And I'm going to write Till on this. Excellent. Does that smell funny? It does. It smells like a marker, doesn't it? Okay. Push that right out of the way there. Lisa for Kittens, thank you one more time. This is also that labeled the same way, so it must be even more from Lisa for Kittens, the, uh, the hero of today's mailbag. Let's, uh, let's see here. Oh, more ball tracks. Okay. So we have three more Magic Cat ball tracks, and these are for, let's see here. Uh, we've got Greg ball track, Holiday ball track, Greg, Holiday, oh, and Calendar. Okay, Greg, Holiday, and Cal each get one. So let's just write their names on here too, since that's where we're going today. Greg, oh, real good job spelling Greg there. That G is perfect. Greg, perfect. You said Greg, uh, Holiday and Cal. See, now I've already, my brain, no short-term memory. Cal, Holiday, Greg. Yes, okay. I did have it. Okay, and Holly. Perfect. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, that was good. I still do have some setup to do for our new mom cat. And that took almost an hour anyway, somehow. I don't know how I managed to ramble quite so much. Uh, thank you all for everything. I really appreciate it. I know the cats appreciate it. Uh, I know the adopters appreciate it. We even got some direct word of that today, which is really nice. And uh, Maggie's going to love this. I'm going to give it right to her. She and Custard were both uh, in my office this morning. The door was open, and that's just where they decided to hang out. So um, uh, I just closed the door <laughs> uh, when, we, when I wanted to put them up, uh, and they're still in there with the door closed. So I'm going to head up there shortly. I'll bring Maggie her bee, and uh, I know that she is going to love that and probably carry it around the entire place and do what she does, which is she, she pushes it under the doors, like all the doors, uh, most frequently the ones where the kittens are, though, almost like she's trying to pass it to them. Like, here, kittens, have a toy. Uh, but then she immediately regrets it once it's under the door. She's like, okay, now pass it back. <laughs> pass it back. All right. Well, there we have it. That was an excellent mailbag. Just the right size. Wonderful stuff for everybody. Thank you very, very much. I'm going to get this all cleaned up. I can't wait to wear the teaspoon shirt. I'm afraid to wash it. I don't want this to come off or get ruined. It looks like it's pretty well on there, though. Uh, I guess I'll wash it on gentle. Does it, it doesn't necessarily smell like it needs a washing right away. You know, sometimes they come in and they smell like that, um, I don't know, some kind of chemically thing sizing or whatever it would happens to be. Uh, this is so cool. <laughs> really excited. Okay, 
So uh, that's my day today is uh, hanging out with DJ and getting ready for our new mom cat tonight at 8 o'clock. I'm very excited to meet her as always. And uh, much appreciation to everybody and to Till's adopter too. Uh, boy, it was, I really felt it this morning um, not having Till saying good morning to me. She's so talkative and she always is, was, you know, right there with the, the meows first thing in the morning to say, hey, I'm here, you're here, uh, it's good to see you. Uh, I do miss that, and, and the fact that she just was always so attentive and snuggly. Uh, but I'm glad that she found her family. That's, that's the important thing for her, is to finally be able to settle down. And uh, I'm excited to hear, we already saw some video of her with her human siblings doing very well. Um, but uh, I'm excited to hear how she ends up when she eventually gets to meet her cat sibling, who is an older cat. Hopefully they can be respectful uh, with each other. Till is, is pretty much fine with anybody that respects her. So that's the big question. Oh wow, I gotta clean your ears again. Even though we treated you guys, it looks like uh, they still need to be cleaned out. One probably last time now that all of that is uh, taken care of. They had ear mites and we treated them for the ear mites. But oh, we never cleaned them after the treatment, which it looks like that's probably something we ought to do. Maybe we can do that today, too. That'll be fun, won't it? Jan, out of this whole class, is, uh, turns out to be the biggest snuggler so far, the one that is most likely to climb up into your lap or to follow you around and wait for you to sit down and be right there. Uh, when I sit down on the bed, Jan is always immediately in my lap, like doesn't even give me a second to get settled in. Uh, and it's, it's very cute. If I get up, I have to put, put him out of the way and I'll put him out of the way. He'll immediately climb back on and I've got to be like, okay, I have to get up. I have to get up. And then the instant that I come back, boom, right back in the lap. Um, so really sweet that way. The others are starting to get there, uh, but not entirely there yet. Uh, I'd say they all do love lap time, but they don't snuggle the way that Jan does yet. Uh, they're, they're just learning. I think Jan's been a real good example for that. Isn't that right, Julie, huh? Yeah, you'll get there. You've had real big purrs, though. They all start, you know, they've gotten to the point now where they purr so loudly when you pet them. They're not going to prove it right now, but, but they've all, like, found their purr, and uh, it's, it's big. It's nice. Okay, i got to get up and start putting stuff away, so let's do that. Thanks for letting me sit on your nice mat, kids. It's very comfy. I see why you like it. Oh, hi. Would you like the blue side as much? Can we try it? Can we see if that works for you, monkey? We've never tried the blue side, I know. Because I know the kittens love that Sherpa material, but this is a very soft material, too. It's got a label still on it. Who knew? Mutts and Mittens brand. Crafted in the USA. Quilted flatbed. All right. Well, he's going to sit on it. We'll see if it's as popular this way. i got to bring all these notes to DJ, the B to Maggie. Oh, hi. Okay, well, let me just turn this around, okay? You can keep that for now. You can't keep this one. You don't need a box to sit on. I should probably turn off my mic so I don't forget. Okay, I did label the outside of this. That's good. Uh, actually, let's use this big box and see if we can get that to help us carry some of this stuff down a little more easily. I <laughs> love teaspoon. That's just great. That's great, buddy. <laughs> Teaspoon. Teaspoon. Look out, buddy. All right. I know. It's fun. It's a fun toy to stand on. Here we go. All right. Mic off.
Maybe we got the regular mic on. I don't know how much it picks up in here. I keep meaning to activate the mic on one of these other cameras so we can use that instead. In due time, I guess. You guys done with this one too now? Oh, who brought this in there? You go, that's a fun toy. Everything that has to go downstairs. Oh, no, it's too. Oh, but I'm going to show this one. Okay. Where is your mom, kids? Is she upstairs with PJ?
gosh, I found it so noisy. Okay, I'll fill you up. Well, seems like a good place to end the recording of today's mailbag. Thank you guys so much one more time. I hope you can hear me all the way over there in the other room where you are. 